The race for the presidency of France is too close for comfort for Emmanuel Macron and for many in the West who fear what will happen if he loses. Avec Madame Le Pen, fini. With Marine Le Pen, it's finished, says Macron, when it comes to foreign investment. Cette élection est aussi un référendum sur l'Europe. But it's also, he says, a referendum on Europe and whether France will turn hard right. Macron has used the world stage to bolster France's support for NATO and for weeks has tried to persuade Russia's Vladimir Putin to stop the war in Ukraine. Marine Le Pen, the far-right candidate, has made it clear she would weaken ties to the European Union and to NATO and forge closer links to Russia. She favors what she calls a rapprochement between NATO and Russia. No one would be happier than Putin with a Le Pen victory of the French presidency. So it would be very, very serious for the, the NATO and Western support for Ukraine. Le Pen has toned down her established views on race in this campaign, appealing to voters on issues like the cost of living. I have the people behind me, she says. The first vote a week ago gave a narrow win to Macron over Le Pen, but together they won just half the votes. Left-wing candidate Jean-Luc Mélenchon finished a close third. But where will his and other votes go now? Il ne faut pas donner une seule voix à Madame Le Pen. Mélenchon told his voters not a single vote to Marine Le Pen. Il ne faut pas donner une seule voix à Madame Le Pen. But he did not endorse Macron, and many voters simply want change. Moi, je suis contre tout ce qui est possible. I'm against everything the president stands for. He's a bully, she says. Financé par un tyran, notamment Poutine. But would you rather a woman financed by Vladimir Putin, says a young man? The first time they squared off in 2017, Macron earned two-thirds of all votes against Le Pen. But this time looks closer. One projection puts Macron's margin at 54 to 46 ahead of this week's election. She's benefiting from classic support for populism. But populism might not be enough this year when war is on Europe's doorstep. Emmanuel Macron has benefited really from the rally around the flag effect because of the Ukraine war. In the end, Macron may prevail not because voters are eager to re-elect him, but may want to stop Le Pen. Eric Sorensen, Global News, Toronto.